Hello, welcome to Paul's Take, and this is a 2014 Scion TC. It's an elegant car, between sporty and nerdy. Really cool headlights. 18 inch alloy wheels, and I added the vented disc brakes. Comes, this one has a wing that I'm sure is just looks, but it definitely looks a little bit. But it does sound good, and it looks good in here. It's the Bluetooth. Bluetooth activates really quick and easy. Got your glove box. Got a port for your cell phone, and also a cigarette lighter for your old school stuff. Crash controls down here. Here's my sporting knob that definitely adds horsepower to the car. Yes, this is an automatic. And uh, I still, you know, I don't regret it yet, but uh, sometimes I do wish I had a stick. There's the seats that are comfortable, supportive. There's another picture of the three speakers. And there's the link. This is my five month review of the Scion TC 2014. And so far what I've done to it is I add a really cool little shifter knob. And I put some put a uh, higher flow air cleaner that's the uh, that's the cold filter that's the cold air you know it take just a uh, cleaner more uh, like a K&N filter and I got these new vented brakes so that's all I've done so far and I'm still on the fence on getting the cold air intake and the exhaust for it I, mean, I probably will do it at some point. Just gotta figure out which exhaust I want. And then I wanna do it at the same time. So when I get the exhaust, I'll get the air filter cleaner or the uh, cold air intake. So I would like to have a little more power. I don't want it too loud though, they work nice, I gotta get back. I gotta get back to uh, to the office without I mean back to the office. Back to the house without waking all the neighbors. So that is one major concern, so I gotta make sure it's quiet at low idle and maybe not so quiet at high. I'm sorry I tried to adjust this thing. I'm trying to avoid my work badge because I'm on my way to work. Okay, so what do I think so far? I do have the automatic. It has a Sportstronic transmission. Um, and I was on the fence of getting which one to get. And I couldn't decide because I do feel like a manual is much more engaging, but manuals are becoming dinosaurs and they're hard to sell. And the new transmissions, automatic transmissions, are supposed to be faster shifting than a manual. Before it used to be the opposite. So I didn't want to be slowed down or have something I couldn't sell. 
And also, you know, stop and go traffic, it is just that much easier. And if I'm trying to like do something, but like, you know, try to eat or use my cell phone and text and stuff, which, you know, I'm not, don't really do that. But it's nice to have uh, your free hands, you know? And I think maybe I'm just getting lazy, I don't know. But I do like a manual. Manuals are fun, they're more engaging, you can rev it up. You feel like you're more in tune with the car, you're more one with the vehicle. Um, and it's definitely the case, even with this, the, the, the one big gripe, it's probably the, the only really gripe about this vehicle for me, is the fact that it is a manual transmission, which would have been fine, because it, it actually, it's, it's not so bad because it's pretty torquey. I know that if you have a slow manual, yeah, slow manual, a slow automatic, am I saying this thing backwards? I'm kind of tired. Anyways, if you have a slow automatic, it sucks. And you must, it's more fun to have a stick to get more power out of it, you can rev it up. But if your car is torquey off the line, then the then automatic isn't bad. It's got a lot of torque, because then it feels more fun. So my big gripe about this vehicle is that when you hit the gas from a stop, there's a little bit of a hesitation on the gas pedal before actually you feel the power. So you, you know, like if you're in a manual, you can kind of, you can feel it. You can let off the, the clutch, you can feel the engage, you know where you're ready to go. Well, this one, if I take my foot off the, the brake and I want to go like, put my foot on the gas and just like engage it a little bit, there's like nothing there. And then all of a sudden you kind of push it, pushing, and then all of a sudden it gives you like a lot of power. So it's kind of torquey off the line, but it's hard to find the starting point. So I realize that sometimes I'm trying to take off fast and beat another car off the line. They usually take off before I do because I haven't even got to the engagement point. It's not engaged yet. I'm still trying to find it. So, yeah, I mean, if I want to put my foot on the brake and then give it a little rev and then let off the foot off the, gas, off the brake and take off, that would solve that problem. But usually what I'm doing is not that serious. I'm not, you know, like, I don't know, I don't want to, like, mess up my torque converter by doing that too much. I just wish it had a little bit more, like, I could kind of tell where it's going to where it's going to go, where it's going to take off. Okay, so besides that, uh, the suspension, it handles really well. And I can take turns nice and fast. The wheels are, are pretty wide for a small car. Can't tell you off the top of my head what size they are, but they are 18-inch wheels, I think. Ugh. And they're pretty wide. And it, feels, it still feels real light. When you're handling, and it, it handles it's just, just tight around turns, um, but it does lean a little bit. It does have a bit of a lean, so I, I wouldn't mind if that was a little stiffer. So I'm not sure if I want to go coilovers. I don't know enough about them. Maybe I will at some point. I think I would be just happy enough if I just had a better quality, just like standard shocks, but like a, maybe a high performance version of them. I'm not sure they have those. I'm assuming they do. They probably have everything. I'd rather go that way. So I'm going to look into that um, later. The tires on this car, I've uh, I bought the car used. It has very low miles on it. I only, like I said, I only had it for like five months. And it's a 2014 and it only had, it had just under 50,000 miles on it. So it's pretty good. But I think it sat. A, I think it sat around for a while because it just. I don't know. For some reason, I think that was a, the tires don't feel as malleable and soft and sticky as maybe they should be. I think they're they're good tires. They're good. They're good brand. Good. There are good tires, but I just think they've been sitting around too long. So I feel like they kind of. I don't know. I can probably benefit from new tires. Other than that, uh, I, I'm also toying with the idea of getting new wheels, but the only thing about the wheels is uh, I really like these wheels. So I'm kind of torn because I would like to get lighter wheels, 
but they gotta be like I guess nice. So I guess you know, nice quality because the wheels that are on here to me look great. And I also want to mess up the stock look to it, kind of keep it on a kind of keep it on a down low, you know, kind of a sleeper car. But uh, I don't know, so I'm on the fence on that. Okay, so and besides that, so it's a comfortable car. I've taken it, the furthest I've taken it to was, uh, let's see here, where'd I go? I guess just to Myrtle Beach, so maybe about six, five hours. I felt like I had no problem. I could cruise this thing all day. It's surprisingly roomy. On that trip to Myrtle Beach, we actually had four people in the car with their luggage, and we made it. Now, I gotta admit, it was a tight fit, getting all the luggage in, but I could easily do a huge load of grocery shopping and uh, not even put the back seats down. If I really needed a space, and I was, you know, with only two people, you could fold the seats down, and you have a ton of space. But even with the seats not down, it's still, it's still got a, a pretty good, a surprising amount of room in the trunk. And it's a, a surprising amount of room in the back seat, because I'm like 6'1", six, six and my kids are, my kid is pretty tall, and she has her friends, and they sit in the back with no problem. And I, I tested, I could actually sit behind myself. So that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive, pretty amazing. What else can I tell you about it? Acceleration, it doesn't, it doesn't, I think, under seven, just under seven seconds. So it's not super fast, but I call it fun fast. It's be faster. That's why I definitely want to get the uh, cold air intake and the, the uh, exhaust for it. See if that helps. That'd be nice if I got at least into the sixes. I don't know. I think I could do it. I think I think if I got the cold air, the exhaust, and really light wheels, I could, I could get into six. What do you think? Can it be done? Alrighty, let's take this turn. See how it looks. Turn off the cruise control. On ramps are the coolest place to test out your vehicles. Oh, there goes all my stuff. One thing that surprised me about this car as well is uh, the snow, it actually, we, it snowed not too much, it didn't snow a lot, so I think you're gonna get a really good um, test of the slide on snow, but my initial impression, which was a little snow, it actually handled pretty well, it actually had pretty good traction, I was really surprised. So front wheel drive cars have better traction than the snow, but I had another one before, and it was terrible in the snow. This one, I, got, I think has better weight distribution over the tires, and it actually handled the snow pretty darn impressive. I was really impressed by uh, the handling. That's another plus. So what I recommend to Scion TC? Um, personally, I like it. I, uh, I went to the car show, got to look at a bunch of cars. And of course, there was a lot of cars that were really nice. And there was a, but I was surprised that what was in my basically budget there was nothing that really impressed me so much where I was like, well, you know what? I got to trade in my Scion and get this new car. I felt the Scion, it might not have been the best, but it was, it, it held its own. The, uh, the looks has a kind of an elegant look to it. It's not so cheesy. A lot of the cars, uh, some of them are a little on the cheese side. But this one actually has a really nice look to it. I mean, I don't like the quality is all that super great or anything, but it looks good though. You know? This has a nice, pleasant environment. Alright. 
that's my take on the performance of the Scion TC. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. I'm new. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to get some viewers, make some money. I mean, but it's all about the, uh, the art. But anyways, thanks for watching. Post it. Thanks again for watching.